Okay, here we are, just getting ready for our uh, hardline trip coming up. So just going through the lures, see what we've got, and I'll give you a quick rundown. Some of my, uh, my favourites. Yeah, you got a stack here. Um, these Berkeley gulps, really mad keen on these. The seven inch jerk shads. Now, I mean, I've seen these out fish bait almost, they're that good, hey? So, um, they really do have the scent, and they really will um, get the bites and get some quality fish. And even when the fishing's shut down, um, one touch baits, a bit of movement, a bit of action from the lures, and they seem to go for them. So, the seven inch Berkeley Gulp Shirk Shads, caught some great fish on them, and um, some grubs I've got to try as well this time. So, um, six inch grubs, use them with these nitro jig heads, um, some pretty some 42 gram ones here, a bit heavier to get down in the deeper water so you'll see some of that being used over the weekend also these uh, fire stick mungos, these are an awesome lure from Berkeley I've seen these out fish shovel lures too um, from Spanish mackerel so I've got half a dozen of them ready to go uh, gonna get into some GT fishing you've got these uh, poppers from River to Sea they've got a great range of poppers, these bubble walkers haven't used these yet, but they look superb. Great hooks, big extra strong split rings, and um, awesome finish on them. So we'll see how they go in the next week. Um, bubble walkers, doggies, these look a good stick bait. Haven't used these either, but um, we'll get them out on the reef. Excellent finish on these lures, they look beautiful. Um, these Rovers, Rover 230 stick baits. I've used quite a few of these out on the reef, they're awesome, really good action, skip across the surface, and we have caught quite a few GTs on them, so we'll give them a go. Uh, these dumbbells, also from River to Sea, red and white's always a great combination out on the reef. Um, yeah, so we'll give these a go as well, extra good hooks, great finish, great finish on the lures, I mean you just got to look at the the colour and the finish on them and for 20 bucks pretty good value I've still got a heap of Captiva poppers from last season I mean these were on special great lures from Tackle World and you've got the short version and your longer 20 centimetre poppers from Captiva extra big owner hooks on them so they're awesome um, yeah for the money they were a bargain so you can see why I've got a few uh, also I've got the old Williamson popper these ones have got the holes in the head you can see there these leave the wickedest bubble trail you've ever seen and a bit of flash on the side as well so these are great great poppers a bit dearer though but um, well worth having in your arsenal now these rooster poppers from Halco they're an old trusted favorite I mean been around for years um, rooster, pop, rooster popper 195 I mean we've yeah, had a lot of great success with these and easy popper to work all day, you can drag them through the water and even these little ones, you'd be surprised what size GTs will still smash a, a little popper there but you can work them all day without getting worn out um, yeah, so no great poppers go with those ones there, you can't go wrong minnows yeah, there's a certain minnows that you always run I always have Halco Laser Pros, um, 190s. I mean, anyone who's had these before will know they produce fish. I like the big ones, the 190s. I've got a few little ones there. But the 190s, um, red and white, probably the best colour. Got a few on the boat. The old Rapala Magnums, they're one of the original famous mackerel lures. Excellent lure as well. Always have some of them. And your X Wraps, they're great as well. And your. RMG Scorpions, white and red. Um, yeah, great lure as well. I mean, um, wouldn't be without them. And also these Blue Water F18s, they're another one of my favourites. Mate, one of the sexiest looking lures you've ever seen, I reckon. And uh, yeah, great, great lure. That one gets down to about 15 feet. Red and white, blue and silver, proven colours. So yeah, good selection of lures there. You never know what you're going to get up to. Uh, what else? This is a new one I'm going to try. It's a um, steel tremor. Now these can be trolled, these can be jigged. Haven't used that one yet, so who knows, we'll give it a go. 
another one from River to Sea. These are great too. Um, I had a bigger one, but only lasted about 15 seconds, 30 seconds. Um, yeah, so these go off high speed. These can trail up to about eight, eight knots, ten knots, a little aversion. And also, don't forget knife jigs. Um, yeah, we've had a great season this this year on Spanish mackerel, and knife jigs have been worth their weight in gold when you can see them in the deep water. We've been dropping down. We've got um, some wire assist hooks now. You make sure you get some of them though for the Spanish. Okay. Yeah, good selection of lures there, so make sure you give them a go, I would. I mean, they're my favourites and um, they produce fish. All right. Yeah, nice one on the X-Wrap. I didn't have one on the other day, but that's a uh, X-Wrap 30, that one, extra deep diver. But, yep, beautiful. Well, hey, that's a quality Spanish. Well done, Norm. Big headshot, where's the headshot? X rep, what, 20 or 30? 20 plus. X rep, 20 plus. Alright, well done.